supporting our gallant black stars. So starting Sunday, 14th January, when you buy fuel or lubricants from selected Total Energy service stations on Ghana match days, you instantly win amazing branded souvenirs. Let's celebrate the passion of football together and win lots of gifts during the 2023 Total Energy's African Cup of Nations. Remember, promo is valid while stocks last. Visit our social media pages, Total Energy's GH, for more information. Terms and conditions apply. Let's live football together. Hmm. Hey. Uh, <coughs> Kojo, mm -hmm. are you okay? So, you know, <laughs> uh, let me read a tweet to okay. you. Okay. Ready. This was uh, posted by sports journalist Sadiq Adams, mm -hmm. who happens to be in Ivory Coast, you know, for the tournament. Okay. So he tw tweet, uh, posted this on X, uh, how long ago? Six hours ago. <coughs> One member of the Ghanaian supporters in Abidjan has been arrested for an attack on coach Chris Hutton <laughs> at the team's hotel. It took the inter intervention of some Ghanaian diplomats who were around to save the coach. The unidentified man has been handed to the Ivorian. Police. Easy, easy, easy. <laughs> Tells you how passionate people are about um, uh, the Black Stars. People ball. People are so people upset. Um, I mean, come on. Well, I've learned my lessons. <laughs> so I, which, is, which is what? Teach <laughs> so us I don't all. get e emotionally attached to the black stars. Um, I just watch and like... Keep okay. Ved. I mean, who would have thought? But I know that football has, I mean, transformed over the years. But no, no, I mean, no, 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 no. Keep, <laughs> keep Ved. Let's, no let's team is a real. sport team, right? Let's be real. Keep Ved. Versus Ghana. And uh, that was the scoreline. Well, I guess the question we should ask if we really have a team. Do we really have a team? I, I, I think we should ask, do we have a coach? All right. Yeah, that's another question. Because we may have a team. But do we have a coach? Of the finest players from across the world. You. I mean, who play around the world. But you. But it's, it's difficult. <laughs> it's heartbreaking is what it is. It's hard. Anyway. But look, as as always, it's important to have conversations that actually point to this the problem, mm. so that a solution can be found. Because wait, dear, we no go grieve give this 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 disappointment in twenty twenty. Perhaps it's also a case of a slow start. Maybe next game they change up and then. Oh. Are you not the <laughs> one who said you have learned your lesson? I'm just Are giving us hope. I'm just giving us hope for the coming days. Please, it's please, please, please. We don't hope for. Yeah, we want goals. <laughs> mm. I've even lost my voice yesterday. Oh, I mean, I, I, oh. Okay, the 6 a.m. news. Mm. People's Monday morning messed up already. Jale, They're jale. going to work mm, and mm, oh, mm, disappointed. Mm, 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 mm. Something amazing will have to happen to claw back my good mood. Like, something amazing must happen. <sighs> like, someone must come and dash me a new TV. <laughs> I you had it. I smashed my TV. Over the weekend, oh, you did not because of the black stars or something by else. accident. Actually, the guy fixing the AC knocked it over. Oh, Chances. too bad. I don't have TV in my house. <laughs> I'm a very sad someone sad comes to Kojo's rescue. And then the black stars also disappointed me, <laughs> <laughs> and I lost my voice. <laughs> hmm. So, anything above 55 inches, you know, <laughs> it will be welcome. All right. The 6 a.m. news was brought to us by Total Energies. Total, we go the extra mile for you. And Absa Bank Ghana Limited, helping you find a way to get things done. For the Joy Business Report, well, we're excited and grateful to Glyco Life Travel Insurance, Glyco, we cushion you for life, and Africa World Airlines, touching Africa, touching the world. The world. Hi, good morning. Welcome to the Joy Business Report. Coming up this morning, International Monetary Fund reschedules board meeting on Ghana to this Friday, January 19, as board members push for more time to scrutinize Ghana's documents. Meanwhile, Finance Minister Ken Ofriata describes debt restructuring deal with external creditors as major turning point for the economy. 
Also coming up, Treasury bills op- auction oversubscribed by a whopping 46.7%, following a further decline in inflation and debt restructuring agreement between Ghana and its bilateral creditors. Details coming up. My name is Daryl Kwa. Thanks for being with us. Hello to our friends listening on KTU Radio in Koforidia. First up, the International Monetary Fund has rescheduled its board meeting on Ghana to this Friday, uh, January 19. But what has resulted in the fund taking this decision, despite the country reaching a deal with its external creditors? Here's George Raffi with some answers. The executive board of the IMF should have met this Thursday, January 18, 2024. However, Joy Business is learning that some of the executive board members have made a case for the meeting to be pushed a day forward. This is to give them more time to review Ghana's documents submitted by the IMF staff. Therefore, the change in date has nothing to do with Ghana not meeting the conditions for the board to meet on its program or concerns about the deal reached with its creditors. We also understand that the executive board members need at least three days to review the country's documents. And since Monday is a holiday in USA, the pushback was necessary. This is because the holiday would mean that the mandatory three days would be cut by a day. Sources close to the fund have told Joe Business that everything is in place for the executive board to meet and carry out Ghana's first review under the fund program this Friday. This should mean that by next Wednesday, about $600 million should hit Bank of Ghana's account. That is, if the country is able to pass this first review by the IMF on how it has fared under the fund program. George Raffi starting us off with that report. Well, Finance Minister Ken Ofriata has described the deal reached with external uh, creditors as a major turning point for the economy. Um, speaking on PM Express Business Edition, which will air this Thursday, Mr. Ofriata said this deal will help fast track the process of reducing Ghana's debt to sustainable levels. Expecting that we were all negotiating in good faith, um, looking at the country coming back um, quicker. Uh, than later. Um, So it's a good time, it's historic, and we need to acknowledge that ours then, uh, as a government, Ministry of Finance, um, is to work in good faith with these um, investors. You tried to explain to me that, yes, the negotiations hasn't ended, even though there's been some preliminary deal breach with them. It means that you could still continue engaging them and maybe pushing further? With regards to the OCC? Oh, definitely, you know, because the memorandum understanding has to be signed uh, and that then will encapsulate, you know, um, issues that we need to think a bit more. You had the finance minister there, Ken Ofriata, speaking on PM Express, a business edition, which will air this Thursday on the Join News channel at uh, 9 p.m. Now, in a related development, the business community in Ghana is hopeful of a rebound in investor confidence in the coming days following the announcement by government that it has secured a deal with external creditors on restructuring the country's debt. This is expected to pave way for the disbursement of the second tranche of the $600 million International Monetary Fund bailout package. Reacting to this, President of the Ghana Union of Traders Association, Joseph Obain, said the deal will send a good signal to the investor community. Every economy needs some confidence. And so all that um, this is bringing to bear is the confidence in the economy. And now that um, um, it has started uh, whipping up some interest uh, by um, our, our counterparts, now that we are telling them the good stories that um, inflation is coming down, the, uh, the economy or the currency have stabilized and all that. When this one come and then we also manage things well, then of course, the investor community or the partners that you 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 call um, our partners will even have a further um, confidence in coming over to help us um, develop this country. You heard President of Guta there, Joseph Obeng. Now, following a further decline in headline inflation, interest rates eased again as Treasury bills were oversubscribed by a whopping. 46.7%. That's according to the latest auction results by the Bank of Ghana. The results show the demand for the short-term instruments surged following an agreement between the country and its bilateral creditors on the restructuring of external debt. Here's more. Interest rates have been falling since the last week of December 2023. 
It dropped further in the last T-bills auction last Friday due to a signal of an expected improved economic environment going forward. The 91-day bill went down to 29.03% from the previous 29.19%. The 182-day bill also declined by 23 basis points to 31.51%. For the 364-day bill, it also fell to 32.08% from 32.34% the preceding week. Meanwhile, the government recorded a whopping 46.7% oversubscription of the short-term instrument to the tune of 3.86 billion cities. 73.4% of the bids came from the three-month bill in which all were accepted. About 840.48 million cities were bid tendered. The uptake was 839.32 million cities. For the one-year bill, all the 185.04 million cities bids were accepted. You're listening to the Joy Business Report. Now, Executive Director of the African Center for Energy Policy, ASEP, Ben Bache, has described the introduction of the value-added tax on electricity consumers above lifeline consumption as inappropriate and counterproductive. Mr. Bache is of the view that the tax may rather encourage few law-abiding citizens who pay electricity bills to begin finding alternative measures to avoid the tax. He argues that it would rather be prudent for the government and the Electricity Company of Ghana to work on reducing inefficiencies that lead to power losses in the distribution channel due to theft. I don't have a problem with VAT on electricity, but you have to analyze it from a systems perspective and where we are. And I think it, it is not the right time uh, to do that mm. uh, because we have a problem where people are stealing power. We don't have a solution to it. And the more you increase the burden, the tendency for them to uh, 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 more people to steal power is, is really high. All right. We don't have the systems to be able to address the leakages uh, uh, that are happening everywhere in the country and just adding uh, another layer of tax is not going to i mean government has been taking VAT from businesses it, it, they hardly realize that money because once it gets into ecg's hands and you know they can't collect much um, they can't pay the ipps they can't pay uh, transmission they can't pay uh, the state agencies like vra and uh, and and uh, uh, BUI. Executive Director of ASA Ben Boache there. Now, Minister of Information Kojo Ponkuma is asking young people to take new opportunities to complement government's efforts in creating jobs to facilitate economic growth. According to him, this would aid in the fight against unemployment. He was speaking at the unveiling of Concentrix and Web Help in Ghana. I just want to encourage you, our colleagues, the young people who've had this brilliant opportunity, consider yourselves as ambassadors for the millions of other young people who don't have this opportunity and give it the best that you can so that people like Philip and his colleagues will have reason to create more flaws, to accommodate a lot more young people so that many of your colleagues who don't have this opportunity will get that opportunity because of the great work that you are doing here. You have the Minister of Information, uh, Kojo Ponkuma, Concentrix Plus Web Help SI, a leading global provider of customer experience solutions and technology. It is. Its operations in Ghana have contributed significantly to local employment, growing to over 500 dedicated team members within the first year. Now, ex- the executive chairman of the First Sky Group, Eric Sedi Kutoche, has underscored his outfit's commitment to creating jobs for the youth with sustainable income. According to him, despite the economic challenges faced by most businesses in the year 2023, the group recorded unprecedented growth. First Sky Group operates in the aviation, construction, insurance, energy, and hospitality sectors. Speaking at the 21st anniversary and Thanksgiving service of the group, the executive chairman said his company will support the Ghanaian economy immensely. For business, the year 2023 was not favorable globally for business. Some business collapsed, others saw very minimal growth. But for the mercies of God, our business was sustained and they saw unprecedented growth. God is indeed a faithful God. One who observed that for us at the first kind of day, the critical ingredient responsible for our existence and growth has been abundant grace and love of God. 
You had Eric Sedikuto chair, he is executive chairman of the First Sky Group. Let's turn to the stock market this morning. The Ghana Stock Exchange Composite Index lost 0.05% last week to record an annual return of negative 0.09%. Overall, weekly turnover totaled 13.6 million cities across 23 counters. Let's now hear from Grace Munay and Update Bank Research on how your investments will fare this week. The trading week ended with the market indices closing lower following price declines in three counters. New gold 